people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim and if you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back guys. Um, if this is your first video, this is my mystery series. So I've been working on this for a very, very long time. Uh, I believe over a year at this point. And I just put it, I put this canvas away for a minute because I got overwhelmed and I had so many projects going on and um yeah when I was ready I pulled it back out and I've been slowly how I do this project is I reveal one square at a time and I don't randomly pick I let my wheel randomly pick which square so the first time I did this mystery series, I numbered them and this time I stuck stickers on them and they have different animals on them. So my wheel just lists the animal and I know which wheel, I mean, which square I'm going to do based on what the wheel lands on. So this canvas is from the one with the diamond art. It is from their mystery canvases. And the way they do it is, is they randomly pick uh, one of their canvases off their site and they make it into a mystery painting for you. So I, um, as you can see from what we've revealed so far is we have some orcas here and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I have a lot to say about this canvas, but I will say that um, the image is beautiful. The colors are beautiful. I feel like there's a lot of depth to it and um, it does give you a very watercolory feel as you can see. And I'm still trying to, I'm still debating. I, I like, I guess it could be in the ocean. Um, you could see that there's the back and the dorsal fin of one of the, uh, it's obviously a pod, right? And um, here's a dorsal fin of one. Here's a baby and a mommy. And then here's a guy he's flipped upside down. Here's another guy. So we have a lot of, um, a lot of different orcas in this picture but for me i feel like this because i know i've seen images where the animals are in space and i just feel like this looks like clouds but a lot of people are like maybe it's just the water closer to the top which it could be i don't know if in the end there's going to be a definitive answer or if it's just going to be how you interpret the painting we're just gonna have to see as we finish filling out the rest of the squares. Um, so we initially had what? Three, six, nine, 12, uh, 15, 18, 21 squares. And now we're down to six. So we're, we're making some progress. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fill out one of these today, whatever the square picks or the wheel picks, but this is going to be my special birthday edition. I'm not doing a whole lot of special things except for I'm showing you some things. Um, <laughs> just because I I haven't had like, I had a whip and chat recently and um, I don't do them weekly, which I, I would be able to keep you guys up to date more. Uh, I throw whip and chats into these mystery canvases and um, sometimes I'll do like a kit up and chat, a kit down and chat. This, So like you'll see me updating throughout different videos. And um, yeah, I just want to show you guys some stuff. So here's one thing I want to show you. I got this mug. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? It's got little feet on it. I can't obviously flip it over because I'm actually using it. But I got this mug at, um, I think it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I was actually, oh my God, he's so cute. And he's got a little tail. Wait a minute. He's got a little tail. <laughs> I was shopping, of course, not for myself. And then I saw this and there always tends to be something that this is why I can't go shopping. Like I physically should not go to stores because I will have, I'll need like another room just for all the coffee mugs that I collect. Um, but I saw this one and I was picking out coffee mugs for, um, the nurse that I, uh, bought, um, that another nurse and I went in for, we bought her a cur egg for her new home and uh, we put it together a little basket with different coffees and stuff. 
and we put mugs in there and I saw this mug and of course I had to get it for myself. So <laughs> I love this mug. It's so cute. Okay. So I wanted to share him with you. And even though my pug is a girl, for some reason, he gives me boy vibes. So he's a boy. And then, um, I wanted to show you guys. Okay. So my first year, I was like, I want to be a planner girl so bad, but I, every year I fail, I fail, I fail, I fail so terribly at being a planner girl. And every year I'm like, this is the year I'm going to do it. So like, I, I just, I'm turning 48 today. I'm just going to put it out there in the universe. I mean, there's no hiding that I'm turning 48 today. And so I'm like, it's been 38 years of me trying to be a planner girl and 38 years of me failing. So I'm saying this is going to be the year that I stick to it. So of course, of course, I don't just get any old planner. No, no. I'm like, cause every year I waste like $20, $25 on a planner. No, this year I get a fancy schmancy uh, personalized cat <laughs> planner. I was like, so there's so many girls at work that are planner girls and they pull their planner out every night that they work and they like, they're in there filling things out. And I'm just like, why can't I get my stuff together and do this? Um, and honestly, I'm not loving the, the calendar on my phone because it alerts me one time and then that's it. And, and so I've been missing things like, um, I've been missing a lot of things. I put in there like check on somebody if they tell me they're having like surgery or something. And then I'm like, isn't, isn't so-and-so having surgery soon? Shouldn't, why, why? And then I'll go on my phone. It was like a week ago. And I'm like, why didn't I get this alert? So I feel like my, my biggest thing with a planner is like, how do you take this thing with you everywhere? So these girls, they, I guess they throw it in there because I don't bring my work bag into the house. I, I, I don't. So, um, but I, since I'm going on this new, I'm starting this new position in December, it's called, uh, Baylor and it's a weekend program where I'm only going to be working Saturday and Sunday night and any extra that I pick up, should I choose to. Um, I feel like every morning, Monday through Friday, I'm going to get up, get my coffee, come into my office here in the craft room, sit down and I can look at my planner, see what, what's going to happen with the day. And I just feel like I'm going to be able to be so much more organized. Like that is my intent. So I got this planner. So she showed me where she got her planner and she gets a customized planner and I, I want to say it's a female's name, like Corden, Ellen Corden or something like that. I don't know. But I kept looking and I'll be honest with you, mostly because I didn't like the covers. And so I found this place and it's called artfulplanner.com. And this place had like hundreds of, I felt like hundreds, like I felt like I looked through hundreds, but it wasn't hundreds of different covers. And this is the one I chose and it says seek magic every day. And then you were able to personalize it. So I put Kimba, but look at this cover. I just thought it was so pretty. And yeah, I, you know, I'm not, you know, I like magical things, you know, Harry Potter and all that. So, um, this, I thought that was really cute. So this is my planner. They also gave you the option to start your planner in November, December. I decided to start it in December so I can start the habit now. I start my new position on 1210. So I thought that I, you know, this will give me a chance to, um, you know, get my stuff together. And so this is how it comes. And I did start to fill it out and I'm so excited. So this page is like uh, important dates. And basically, yeah, I just put like um, birthdays, like all the birthdays that I could. Um, and then this page is called Brain Dump. So every, every um, one of these tabs has the Brain Dump on it with the dotted paper. Okay. And... 
this page has uh, December bill tracker. So they all have a bill tracker. So this is, I think, very cool because um, specifically for Kimba's crafts, I'm going to keep track of um, my monthly subscriptions to run this channel. And so, for instance, um, my YouTube subscription, my Epidemic Sound prescription, prescription. <laughs> I just like throw random nursing <laughs> words out there all the time. I'm just like penile, like <laughs> subscription, subscription. Um, so yeah, so I do subscribe to a music, um, uh, like a copyrighted music uh, app that allows me to throw music. You know, I like to throw my music in there and like do matchy matchy things with it. So it's a monthly subscription for that. So at the bottom, I'm going to do that. So that'll be like my outgoing money. And then of course, any monies spent um, for things like to show you guys, um, you know, any any uh, monies that go out. And then um, I can keep track of all of that. So this will kind of keep me in check on my spending. Um, I've been, I, I feel like I've been pretty good. Like I feel like next year it's gonna be really, really good because um, I've established all of my systems, so to speak, except for the tray tower systems that, you know, I'm starting to get into. So we'll see how that goes. And then this is um, December. So this is, I'm going to show you a, a page where it's not written on. Um, so you could just, so it says January goals and priorities. So monthly goals, top priorities and notes. And it's next to the bill tracker. So I did start to fill that out. And so, you know, my first goal for the month is to get the advent canvas done every day on time. So that's one of my monthly goals. And um, a top priority is to make sure I record my Christmas premiere by 1215 and like provide the link for my premiere. So, um, that's a priority. And then like my son's graduation, my mom's birthday, my stepdad's birthday, and then monthly notes. So my position, my Baylor position starts on 1210. So I just put that down there. So that's December's goals and priorities. So I get this page before every month, which I thought was fun. And then, oh my God, I used stickers. So I got this book, Carpe Diem. And I'll be honest with you, like I was, I brought this whole set to work because I was showing the girl that was, that was there the day that I ordered it. And another girl was there and I was like, yeah, and I got the, they sent me a free stickers book pad. And this is um, the seasons, it's 12 sheets. And so it's one for every month. And so I did already go through a lot of the December stickers and I just like put them on here. Um, so, you know, my mom's birthday and my stepdad's birthday, and then this is Christmas day. So I am actually waiting for more stickers to come. And what I'm going to do is, is I am going to put a sticker on the days that I get paid, um, and stuff like that. So I do have more stickers to throw up there and then it gives you and these are options. Like you don't need to get weekly. You can just do monthly, but I want to do weekly. And, um, and the weekly, you know, I just put what I need to do. So I, and in December, I'm going to start, you know, um, watching what I eat more and stuff like that. And so I'm going to be doing weekly progress picks. So I just, on a Friday, so I just put on here every Friday that I need to do my progress pick. Um, I work Christmas Eve, so I gave it the upside down elf feet. <laughs> um, here, like Baylor starts. Um, so, and I, and I just circled the days that I work, but I'm probably going to put like 
I'm going to use a sticker that's a symbol like a star or something so I know what days I work. Um, and then obviously on the birthdays, I'm going to put like a cake or something just to keep it fun. And so I have these weekly ones. And then uh, at the end of your weekly, every month we got a December or a, a that month's reflection. So how fun is that? So um, things accomplished this month. Um, this month's reflections, this month's gratitude, this month, next month's intentions. So, um, you know, you could write all of that down and then we have a notes section and then we go right back into the tab, which has the brain dump. So I actually brought this in and I showed the girl who showed me the other um, planner website and she had already ordered hers for next year but I showed her this and she thinks that she might order from them the following year because she really liked everything um in the back after all the 12 months or I guess it's 13 because I, I did an extra month oh no it ends in December so next year I'll have to start it in December again that's a little annoying I'll be honest with you like I would have rather it go to December in here so that I could just get a new, because then you could start a fresh new book. Okay, so that's annoying. I just realized that. I thought that adding December would give me from, it was just an option because you get the whole year, but you get to start it sooner. But no, it's it's a 12 months. So just keep that in mind. Um contacts and passwords so we got a contacts and passwords and then i did add this oh and this is for contacts this is for passwords and then i did add this um this is the habits tracker tab so this was extra again we'll see if i utilize this you put your morning weight routine your afternoon your evening so like i put in here like when i get up um, you know, I'm going to, if I weigh, I'm going to weigh myself. I'm going to get my lemon water. I'm going to get my coffee and my breakfast, make sure I take my supplements, shower, and then in the afternoon, get myself over to the gym. Um, and then you can like color in the days that you do that, you know, evening routine, make sure I take my migraine medication, that, uh, blood pressure pill, um, and then take my uh, evening supplements, which are just like multivitamin, calcium, fish oils, and stuff like that, have not been on top of that at all. So I would like to start utilizing that. And then we have water intake. Um, I guess like if I get my water goal, I can color it in. There's not enough of these to match how many weeks there are here because if you count the weeks, it's like one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So this is 22 weeks worth unless you change your goal. And then, you know, if your goals change, then you, you would use a new page. Um, so I added that. I thought that was fun. And then here's the notes section. And obviously you could do multiple, like I, like I could, you could do a fitness habit tracker, um, the YouTube channel habit, habit tracker, that you know, morning routine, answer comments, afternoon routine, upload video, whatever, you know, whatever your, your habit, the habit you want to instill. I could do the language, um, you know how I said I wanted to learn another language, like morning routine, you know, study for 10 minutes, afternoon routine, do the app or homework or whatever. Um, so you could do multiple habit trackers uh, and you, I, I don't know how many pages this is. I, I want to say it's 20 pages. So maybe 40 different habits you can, you can um, keep track of. And then you, I, this was extra as well. I didn't realize there was a notes section after every month, but this is just a, a like a main notes section. And I got both parts. You can add lines or you can add dots. And I added both. So this book is extremely thick, but it's just because of all the extras that it, because I was like, 
I'm going to make this happen this year. So give me all the things. Give me all the things and we'll figure it out. So let me turn the light on because the sun's going down. So yeah, that's that's my intentions with this. I just wanted to share this with you because I think it is so cool. Obviously, I'm not an affiliate or anything with artfulplanner.com, but I'll put a link to this um, in the description below. If you are a planner person, you probably already know about these people. And yeah, these were free. And then I ordered like dollar signs to put on the days that I, ha I get paid. Um... I ordered uh, dumbbells <laughs> to put on the days that I go to the gym. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And every day, you know, if I just open it up and I, you know, and then I keep track of my purchases. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so that is one another thing I wanted to share with you guys. And then another thing I wanted to share with you guys. So... I posted this on my community page and my Instagram, and I meant to post it on my Facebook group page, but I wasn't able to because I got busy. You know, obviously I was at work when this was happening because it, I worked um, overnight into my birthday. So at midnight, I turned, uh, at midnight, it turned into my actual birthday. And my coworkers brought me into the, um, break room and they had a cake for me and I'm going to put a couple pictures of the cake here and I posted this cake on some of my social medias and isn't it adorable I love my coworkers so much they're awesome they're so supportive and obviously I talk about diamond painting quite often I was like how did you even know what these things are <laughs> and the one was like I did some research and she's like and I just made sure that it was um not from China and BPA free <laughs> before I put it on the cake and then the little diamonds on it that's like on the tray and like around they're they're just like edible uh sugar cubes so yeah the cake was delicious it was vanilla with a cheesecake um middle uh and I'm a vanilla cake girl I've said this before I like joked and said if you have chocolate cake at your wedding are you even married like <laughs> So they knew that I was a vanilla cake girl. Um, and if you had chocolate cake at your wedding, I'm, I'm totally just kidding. <laughs> Don't come at me. I'm just kidding. I'm just like such a vanilla cake girl. Um, and it's not that I don't like chocolate, but I, I just love my vanilla cake. I love my vanilla cookies. And uh, so, yeah, they got that for me. And I just thought it was so cute that they did the research and they got the tray on there. They got a little caddy of wax and the pen. And yes, people, I took that home with me. <laughs> Because I, I go in the break room when I was done and it's just laying there on the table and I'm like, nobody needs this. <laughs> so, and then the other day, my one girlfriend, Kamisha, her name's Kamisha. So, uh, but she spells it K-I-M and then um, the rest of her name. So a lot of people call her Kim. And I was there first, so I'm like, I'm Kim one, you're Kim two, and now we call each other twins. And I love her so much. She she got me a gift as well. And then another um, coworker of mine, I, I came out of my patient's room and it was just, there was a present on my station. And she, guys, this is so cute. Oh my God. I opened it and I was shocked. I was like, where did you find this? And she's like, I don't know. I was just clicking. Guys, she's like, this is the stuff you do, right? Advent calendar gems painting joy. DIY diamond painting tools kit. So this has little um, perforated sections, 1 through 24. And then down here is the tool kit. And it's like box is zero so you puncture this to get your tools and i guess your drills and then every day you have a little diamond painting how i'm like where did you find this i've never seen anything like this couldn't wait to share this with you guys i'll have to look on amazon and if i find it i'll put a link to it but she's like 
you know, she, and she's so sweet. She's like, I don't know. It's probably something very small. You can see it's a small. I was like, this is so perfect. I love it. I love it. I could not believe it. I'm like, I've never seen anything like this. Like, and I explained to her that I've seen companies do like advent calendars, but you know, it's always like there's a pen in one, there's like drills in another. I'm like, it's supplies along with, you know, maybe a diamond painting thing here and there. But this looks like it, we're going to have to do it together through the months. Now, unfortunately, I've already uploaded one through three, you know, and, um, so I might just do 24 shorts. I don't know. How long can a short be? I feel like shorts can be pretty long. I'll have to research that. Like, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you want to see these in shorts? Because I would, I would normally, I would just add this to, um, what's it called? Mirror. Um, my advent calendar, like put it in the beginning or the end or something like that. But I, then I, I would have to start doing it now. Like I would already have to do at least, uh, five or six cause I have that many videos done and I really would like to do it every day. Um, I would like to start it on December 1st. So I might just record small videos and post them, you know. But isn't it adorable? It's such a great gift. And I'm like, how did she, I, I can't believe she found this because I've never seen anything like it. So if I can find it, because she didn't say if it was from Amazon or anything. She said she was just clicking and clicking and clicking and, and she saw different advent calendars and she saw that one and she's like, oh my God, that's what Kim does. And she uh, threw it in the clock cart. So just wanted to show that with you. And then my last thing is, Oh my gosh, this video is going to be so long, isn't it? Um, uh, I got some Bella Art Day Nicole trays, guys. So I really wanted to try these. I've been wanting to try these. Last but not least, I've been wanting to try these really bad. And um, now that I'm doing like tray tower, um, not, not all tray towers, but now that I plan on doing a tray tower thingy, um, I really wanted to get these and, and test them out and see how I like them. So it says, thank you so much for ordering. We hope you love everything you received and we'll be back for more. If you have any questions or concerns, the Bella Art team and a little thank you. So I got... Um, there's no shipping slip in here, so I think I got, I think these are called the, hold on. And if you are a Bella Art Tray lover, then you'll know once I show you these, but they're very well protected. <laughs> So we got a butterfly, so that's her thing. She loves butterflies, you can see it. Um, it's connected to the bee and then the Bella Art Diamonds. They also own Bella Art Diamonds. Um, but I got the 2.0, is it called? I think it's the 2.0 tray, where you put the lid on and then you can pour it into I am, okay, I'm ambidextrous, so I would want to pour with this hand, but the spout's on this side. So we'll see how that feels. Um, but yeah, this is the tray I got. Um, it's, I feel like it's different than any of the other trays. It is definitely different than any of the other trays. So Bella Art has these trays and then they have the ones with the spouts and the corks or the um, stoppers. But I really wanted to try these trays out. So here's all the lines. It's very pretty. So this is like a copper, I wanna say, I got. It's 
kind of like, it looks like a pumpkin. And I got two other colors. So this is, and I got them all in this style. So I think that they were making it like the, if I, I could be completely wrong. I think they were making these and then they designed the other tray, but then everyone was like, bring these back. So, and I was always so curious to see how they worked. You know, we'll, we'll use, we'll use these today in this, in this video and see how I feel given that I am, you know, sometimes I'm left-handed, you know, I love my black trays. So I got black and I got this like ice blue, I think, Arctic blue or something like that. Very pretty. These are so pretty. And it has her little logo on here. So, and they're stackable. And of course, they, they have a nice flat edge here to um, put your labels on if you do do a tray tower. So yeah, that's why I wanted to try these. I'm just gonna move all this off now. So I'm very excited. And I guess like, um, I could use this one for any light colors. And then I could use, there's a lot of blues in this. I don't like to put blues in blues. So we'll just play it by ear. But yeah, we'll, we'll try to use those based on the colors as, as we diamond paint. So, all right, let's actually get to the diamond painting, guys. This has been a long intro here. But yeah, so that's kind of my birthday special. And my kids are going to be making me dinner tonight. I'll take some pictures and I'll throw them up um, probably towards the end because uh, I want to mention it again. And I'll just show you guys the dinner that we end up having. So I'm really excited. My daughter's an amazing cook and my son's coming over to help and he brought over dessert stuff already. I think I ate like a 10, a five pound bag of sugar last night. It was ridiculous. Between the cake and I brought um, little donut holes because I wasn't expecting a cake and I stopped to get um, some things for lunch. And I, if I do that, I'll always pick up like a little snack or something to share with everyone. So I bought a couple boxes of donut holes. And so we were eating those and then they, bring out the cake. And then after the cake, uh, one of the family members gave us a whole box of these like cream filled donuts and everybody was digging into those. I'm like, oh my God, I cannot eat any more sugar, but I am looking forward to my brownie Sunday tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to click. Let's see what we're doing today. Otter. So I know he's at the top. Okay. Otter is at the top. I'll show you right where he is. He is right here, guys. So let's see what Otter has to say for us. And it says, I'm trying to make sure you don't have a glare. You can be a mess today. It's okay. Of course it's okay, Otter. It's my birthday. I can be anything I want to be. <laughs> You don't need to tell me, but I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing this section right here, Mr. Otter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get us set up. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. It's actually like a little bit later because <laughs> I, of course, I decided to go do this and go do that. And you know how it is. So we are all set up here. This is the otter. I'm going to do this square right here. Um, I'm probably going to have to stop before I'm done because it is getting close to when I think my daughter will be home. And then I'll just finish tonight. But I also wanted to mention, I forgot to say, it's my dog's birthday. She was born on the same day as me. <laughs> I don't know why I always forget this, but Bob and I always forget this. But when I get home from 
When I got home from work, Bob made me breakfast. He had breakfast waiting for me. And I don't usually eat when I get home, but um, it's funny because I didn't take really any food to work. All I ate was all these sweets. So I was hungry and he had like eggs. And if you're from Jersey, you know what this is, pork roll. It was really good. So we ate breakfast together. And as we were eating breakfast, I looked down and I was like, happy birthday to the pug. And he was like, that's right. It's her birthday. I don't know why we always forget this. Um, and my daughter never forgets. She actually made her like a dog friendly peanut butter cake. Yes, last night to give to her when we eat our dessert tonight. So yeah, but she's 13 today and she's got her face buried in the blanket next to me and she's sleeping. Um, she's adorable. So what I'm doing right now is, is I'm reloading this pen. I haven't used this pen in a minute. So I just put some um, micro, no, mini, mini glue dots in the single placer. I put two because these um, metal tips that I use, they usually use two. And then I have my Gorilla Putty. This is what I usually put in my uh, multi-placer. And what I do is I usually just take a pair of scissors and I cut a little. You don't need a lot. This is gonna be too much even. Just cut a little piece off. And then I Roll it into a snake like that, about the length of the multi-placer. And then I just put it on top and then I just start squeezing. I push it in like that. And I keep pushing. Okay, uh, you might be able to hear her snore, my dog. There you go. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I, I had a sneak peek here from Oraloa and I kind of, I messed up on the date. I thought the sneak peek was supposed to be uh, uh, November 30th, but it's a good thing I did because they have um, like a Black Friday sale going on right now where it's 70% off select canvases. And so I clicked on it last night and I saw, and it took me to all the canvases and that was one of them in there. And I was like, what? Wait a minute. So then I go on my email, I saw that it, I was supposed to do the sneak peek for today. The, the, it was supposed to be released today. And I was like, oh, I'm like, but wait a minute. I didn't see it in their social media listings as this week's releases. And I didn't. Um, and why is it in the Black Friday sale? Like, this is weird. So I emailed them and I was like, I'm so sorry. I messed up. I, I, I don't know how I got the dates confused. Well, it's a good thing I did because they ended up not like doing an official release with it because they found out that the artist was an I, uh, AI artist and they don't promote AI art. So they put, they released that kit, like um, not by, they didn't announce the release. They just released it and put it on their site. And they said any profits they make on that kit, they're gonna give to charity. So when I'm done this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you what it is. Um, and you can find it on the 70% off sale and you can you know, decide if you wanna buy it um, because they're not going to be selling um, AI art. And I guess they didn't know that this was an AI artist. Uh, so, all right, we're gonna try this tray. Um, what else? 
else did I want to tell you guys? Yeah, I can't believe I always forget my dog's birthday. But she doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Uh, my kids would always remind me. <laughs> so I don't know. It's funny because, like, m my kids are cooking dinner and so they went grocery shopping and everything. And I said, listen, I want to pay you back for the groceries. And they were like, no, like, this is our gift to you. And I said, well, you know, cooking me dinner and spending time with me on my birthday is gift enough. Like, I don't want you to spend your money on me. And my son, like was like, that you got to stop telling us we can't buy you things and spend money on you. We're trying to show you that we don't take you for granted and we appreciate you. It was a really cute um, message he sent me. He's like, you know, we wouldn't do this if we couldn't afford it and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know. Is anyone else like this? I was talking to another nurse and she was like, no, I don't ever tell my kids not to buy me things. <laughs> I always tell my kids not to buy me things because... I feel like, I mean, will you see my Amazon hauls? Like, I don't hold back. I'm at a point in my life where, you know, I've, um, I sacrificed a lot, you know, when I was younger because I didn't make good money and, you know, I was raising my kids and I always made sure they had what they needed and wanted. And, and now I just buy what I want when I want. Um, and, so I don't want them spending their hard-earned money on me because if I want it, I'll I'll get it, you know? And I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? I I don't know. But, like, the nurse at work was like, well, it's not about you. Like, my, like when I buy someone a gift, it's, it's because I want to give them this. Like, it's... It's sometimes it's about the person giving it to you, not about you, the receiver. And I was like, yeah, I do like to give gifts, you know, I don't know. But I just hate to think they work so hard, like put a whole day's work in and then they spend it on me when, you know, they're trying to save up for a new car and to move out and like, I don't know. They're trying to get their life started and you know i'm i'm you know i've established like i've met a lot of my goals and stuff i'm a bad gift receiver <laughs> i guess so um yeah they said that they don't want me to pay them back for the food but i feel bad too because they're like what do you want and i and i i could not i like i just was not in the mood for anything and I was like I guess maybe crab cakes and like crab meat is expensive as all get out right now and, I, and I'm like I, if I had known they wouldn't let me pay them back I definitely would not have said that I would have been like chicken parmesan or something <laughs> pasta oh man but yeah that's that's what they're gonna make me crab cakes I'm excited though. And um so <laughs> I definitely have issues, guys. I I I get I have mommy issues apparently. I so you know how I said I had the dream that my mom told me she was moving away and I was like an awful person about it. I was so, like so upset and I felt like she was abandoning me and like, I was mean, like, about it. I was like, I'm never bringing my kids to visit you. And if you want to see them, you have to come back here and all this stuff. Like, I was just, like, not a nice person. But it was just, like, I felt I was, like, scared. Well, I had another dream. This is so weird. So I had a dream that my brother moved away. Um, he moved to Idaho and I think it's because my girlfriend and I were talking and I know why it was Idaho because my girlfriend and I were talking on the phone that night and she was telling me 
about how her cousin moved to Idaho and, um, you know, we were just talking about that state. And I was like, oh, I know someone who has a re retirement home there. Like they were working, but they had this like vacation home that they were going to, she said they were going to retire in. And um, I, I know it's Idaho because she called it her Idaho home. And I'll never forget that. Like, so we were talking about Idaho. And so that night I have a dream. Like my brother calls me and he was like, hey, uh, the, the, my family and I moved to Idaho. And I was like, what? And he, he tells me that like, third, like World War III is going to happen and it's safer there or something crazy like he was like, yeah, we didn't sell the house there in New Jersey, but because um, we're we're just waiting it out. But, you know, we may sell it. We may end up selling it, but we're going to camp out here for a little bit. And I was just like, OK, like, all right, that's weird. And then then next thing you know, I'm talking to my mom and my mom's like, I miss the kids because she knows she she babysits my brother's kids. And she's like, I'm going to move to Idaho. And I freaked out. <laughs> well, at first, my first initial thought was, well, then I'm going to move to Idaho. Like, I, you know, like, what am I going to stay here for if they're both over there? And so that was my initial thought was like, I'm going to move to Idaho, too. And then I thought about my kids and I was like, wait, my kids aren't going to move to Idaho. And then I was like, I'm, I'm like, great. Now they're going to be there and I, I'm not leaving my kids. So then I got so angry, like I was so upset and I called my brother and I'm like, you're stealing my mommy. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I was freaking out guys. But here's the kicker. I was screaming so hard in that phone. I was like yelling and like just having a straight up fit like I was just angry and like like how dare you like you you know I don't have a say in this like everyone's just picking up and leaving and I like um I was screaming so loud that I started screaming in real life <laughs> and I'm like all the next thing you know I'm like and I'm like looking around like, oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I seriously have issues. Like maybe I need to talk to like a counselor about this. I don't know where this is coming from. Like, um, yeah, no, you don't have a say in where other people move. But maybe that's just my brain saying like, you know, like, that's how quick it could happen. I don't know. I don't even know where this is coming from. No one's talked about moving anywhere. Um, or maybe it's just, you know, like, in the past couple years, you know, we've had some, like, really awesome family gatherings, and I just feel so blessed. And, you know, I'm scared of that, you know, being you know, separated because people do have different goals and they move away and stuff. And I, I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from, guys. I, I really honestly can't even like begin to understand. I just can tell you that I've been having these crazy dreams and I've been getting super emotional in them to the point where they woke me up. And so then I then like later on that day, because Bob was in the bed when I was acting this way acting like a fool and so I said to him um did you hear me screaming like in my sleep and he was like no <laughs> normally he can hear me screaming in my sleep or like if I start I have made some like really strange noises in my sleep before um to the point where like I don't feel like I have as much control. Okay, I'm 
making kind of a mess, but this is my first time. And I definitely don't have as, I'm gonna try with my other hand the next time because I don't have as much control with my right hand. So we'll try with the other hand next time. So, um, yeah, I, I think I've told this story before um, where I dreamt, <laughs> I dreamt that um, I, I dreamt that this guy was like coming towards me and I knew he was going to like try to like kidnap me or something. So I thought to myself, I'm going to pretend I'm a ghost. Like, I, and I started like, I seriously started making go, go, ghost noise. Oh, there's a couple in here. I started making ghost noises. Like I was like, to get him to, to like go away. And I started making them in real life. So I'm like in bed, I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and Bob, was, all I hear is Kimba, and he like pushes me, <laughs> and I, I wake up, and I can, I'm, I was like in the middle of one of my ghost um, sounds, I was like, ooh, <laughs> oh my god, but the funniest one was when I don't know what noises I was making, but it freaked Bob out. Like, I think I was trying to like, like, um, you know, when you, when you have those dreams where you're trying to run and you can't move or you're trying to punch something and you can't hit it or you're trying to scream and you can't scream. So I think I was having one of those dreams and I was trying to scream and I couldn't. So in real life, I was making this noise that sounded like I was possessed. I was like, <laughs> and Bob got like, he got so freaked out when he, when he heard it, he was like angry. He's like, starts pushing me and he's like, Kimba, Kimba, what the? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I don't do this often, but it's so funny when I do like, and again, like I wake and I know what I can hear as I'm waking up, I can hear what I'm doing. And um, so I know why he was like so upset because it, it sounded so freaky. I was like, what the heck? But it was like, because in my dream, I was trying to like scream or yell something and nothing was coming out. And so I kept trying. And that's how it sounded in real life, apparently. <laughs> oh my God. So, yeah, I, I think I told these stories before, but because I, I had that incident where I was screaming in real life, it just brought, brought them back. But, um, yeah, I still have a lot of videos to make. Um, I need to make the two, uh, review videos on the two canvases I just recently finished. I, and, uh, and the kit downs. I just haven't had like, um, uh, multiple days off in a row where I wasn't busy like the entire day. So like, yes, it's like tomorrow I'm off. Today is kind of like a wash because it's my birthday, you know, and I don't want to go anywhere because um, we're going to have dinner. And uh, so I've just been doing laundry and I haven't been up long and um, I work two days in a row. They try to call me off on Saturday and I said no. Like I pick up the phone and he was like, do you want um, canceled tonight? And guys, I was like, I was all ready. Like I was ready. I, I curled my hair because I wanted to uh, show everyone because I've been talking about how I want to get a perm. I'm not going to get a perm, 
unless people tell me that they had good experiences with perms on here, but uh, everyone at work talked me out of getting a perm, but I um, wanted, I, I love like that really curly ringlet hair. So I used a very small barrel wand and I, and I curled it and everyone was like, it's, they, they said it was so pretty, but, and I was like, I want, I want to get a perm to do this. And they're like, don't do that. You're going to ruin your hair and all this stuff. So, and my daughter has a friend who actually went to cosmetology, 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 <laughs> um, cosmetology school. And she said, like, it's a lot of upkeep and you need to find someone who specializes in it and they're hard to find. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to, it didn't take me that long to actually curl it. But, um, so I had sat there, I curled my hair. I, th I think it took like 40 minutes and then I get this call and I'm like, and he's like, do you want off tonight? And I'm like, oh. and he starts laughing and I'm like, oh, why did you call me? Why are you making me make this decision? And he's like laughing. I'm like for four hours or 12. And he's like, I'll give you the whole 12. And I'm like, oh my God. And the guy is like cracking up and I'm like, oh, why did I pick up the phone? Why did you call me? Why do I have to make the decision right now? Do you know how hard it is to say no? And Bob's like, well, you just did your hair. I'm like, yeah, but they'll never know. <laughs> and then he's like, well, I have to work tonight anyway. And I'm like, but I want a diamond paint. <laughs> then I was like, so one of the things with the, the position I'm taking is I don't collect um, PTO, which is uh, paid time off. So like if I ever call out, I just lose money because um, I don't collect PTO in this position. It's just one of the, I mean, they can't give you everything because, you know, it's just one of the downfalls of getting paid an extra 12 hours for not working, you know. So... But the thing is, is whatever PTO I have in my bank, I can take over and my boss will let me use it, you know, use it up uh, slowly. So it's in my benefit to take over as much as I possibly can so that I can use it, you know, like even if I call out, I don't get paid, you know, I... I won't get paid because I, I don't accrue PTO. So, you know, it's in my benefit to, to try to hold on to as much PTO as I can. So, you know, Bob was working. I had prepped to be up all night. I just did my hair. Like, it really didn't make sense for me to not go into work. So I was like, oh, this is killing me. This is really killing me, but I'm going to have to decline. And he, the guy was like laughing and I'm like, oh my God, please don't call me again. <laughs> So, um, I was joking, but so why was I telling you guys this? Um, I know I started talk talking about my hair, but anyway, I actually requested off. So then I was like, Hmm, what if they're going to call off people tomorrow, if we still have low census, I'll take tomorrow off so that I'm not tired for the dinner and all and I can go, get up and go to the gym in the morning and stuff like that but um they never called me so no one got canceled yesterday they had brought enough patients in during the day that they needed all the nurses to work um so I ended up working last night but so my girlfriend was like, are you doing anything on Tuesday? Because I'm off Monday, Tuesday. And I was like, well, actually, I'm going to need to like do laundry. Um, I, I'm going to need to catch up on my life. Because <laughs> like, recently, I've just been saying yes, 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 yes. And like, I just feel very behind on everything. Like today... Bob never does laundry unless I don't do laundry for a while. And I feel like I just did laundry. I, I feel like I just did all the laundry. And uh, I guess I must not have because he ran out of some stuff. So when I woke up, he was running the, the washer. 
So I dried it all. And I mean, this is why you don't want guys doing the, the, the laundry. Like he put so much clothes in the washer. I dried it in two separate loads. Like I'm like pulling clothes out, pulling clothes out. I'm like Jesus. And I just keep pulling more clothes out and there's still more clothes in there. I'm like, okay, this is too much. So that's why, you know, cause he wanted to do all of his clothes in one load. So, um, I feel bad. Like, obviously I always try to do all the laundry. I mean, he's been working five nights a week and I still only work three. So, but I've just been booking and booking and booking myself so much that, uh, things aren't getting done quite as often as they were. So, and I feel like once I go on Baylor, I, I feel like I'm, I think it's going to solve every problem I have and then I'm going to be disappointed because it doesn't, but you know, I can do laundry every Monday and I can do this every Tuesday and I can, you know, that's my thought process. So we'll see how organized I am. I like to be regimented. I feel like I definitely operate better when I am. Um, it's a matter of putting those habits in place, which is why I did get a habit tracker. Like for a while there, I was taking my vitamins twice a day, every day. I did my collagen water every morning. I did like, I had a really good system and now I have no system. I'm just like all over the place. So I'm going to really try to implement a system again. This glue dot is very sticky. But yeah, I think, oh, and I did want to tell you guys, you know, the dog that I'm obsessed with, my girlfriend's dog, she had to have surgery last week. She has, she had something wrong with her ankle. And so my friend's like been stressed out because, you know, that she got the dog, she got the dog um, when it was 11 months old and it was like locked up in a pen for most of the time. Um, and she's like, because she had surgery on her ankle, she's not allowed to run. She's not allowed to jump. So she has to take, she's not allowed out in the backyard without being on a leash. And her dog is not used to like going to the bathroom off leash. I mean, on leash, she's used to just going to the bathroom. So she's been having a really hard time getting her to go to the bathroom. Um, now she's like re trying to refuse to take the meds. I was like, just wrap it up in a piece of lunch meat. I don't know. It's, um, she's pretty stressed out. Like she said her dog held her. She did. She made a, like a ton of pit stops from driving from North Carolina to New Jersey. And her dog did not pee one time on one of those stops because she had to be on a leash. Like that's, that's rough. So she waited until they got home all the way from North Carolina because she did not want to pee on the leash. She, I was like, I don't know. She said, asked me, how do you get a dog to pee on the, I'm like, I don't know. I like, um, the thing is, is like, she does walk her. She takes her on hikes and stuff. And she very rarely, she said she very rarely ever goes to the bathroom because they, she has a huge backyard and she, you know, when she wakes up in the morning, she lets the dog out, dog does her business. And then she, she'll load her up in the car and they'll go hiking and stuff. And the dog just waits until they get home. 
We get home, she scratches on the door, she lets her out, and she pees in the yard. So she's on the leash a lot. Like, she takes her to the park, she takes her, but she just doesn't go to the bathroom, apparently, on the leash. So I don't know. I, I mean, you know, I guess there's, I never heard of that before, but, you know, just like there's people, there's all different personalities and dogs. And so she's like stressed out. It's a shame. But yeah, just keep her in your thoughts. Her puppy. That's my that's my best friend. She's every time I call her, she's like, I'm on the phone with your best friend. <laughs> I'm like, I miss you, Duchess. All right, guys, um, I think I'm going to put you in a time lapse. So uh, I think I, I, I will get better at this. Like, I feel like I'm already better at this. This is the second time I'm pouring with this hand. But yeah, for me, I have to use this hand to pour. So, yeah. All right, guys, I am going to put you in a time lapse. I hope you enjoyed the music. Somebody ought to come along and let you down so you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground how can you say that nothing's different that we should pick up the pieces somebody ought to come along and let you down if you still wanted to be loved you should have never let me go hope somebody will break your heart and leave you crying on the floor You let me down, I won't do this all again Even if I try, I can't forget it If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Somebody said it should be easy to forgive We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin but why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet And now you're standing at my door Thinking that I'm gonna let you in But if you wanted to be loved You should've never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart So you could feel this pain and know What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Okay guys, it's actually the next day so, um, and I'm going to just say this is my halfway point. I, I, I guess it is. Maybe a, a little more should be done. But my son um, got came over. And then so I just went out there and we were all hanging out. We had such a great time. My daughter made, my daughter and her boyfriend cooked. And the meal was amazing. We had crab cakes. I didn't take pictures of the food. Like for someone who records their life, I do so bad with photos sometimes. Um, but we were kind of like, uh, it was really late, uh, cause she started cooking after she got home from work, which was like at six o'clock. So, uh, we were all pretty hungry and she made Cajun fried shrimp, um, crab cakes, clams, casino, uh, all, all kinds of stuff. It was amazing. It was delicious. We all ate till we were stuffed. And then we were watching a movie called Freddy's or Five Nights at Freddy's. And uh, we fell asleep on the couch, all of us. <laughs> Bob had to go to work, so he had left for work. Um, 
yeah, it was a great night. It was a really great night. We had brownie sundaes, all kinds of stuff for uh, dessert. It was awesome. So I love my kids. I felt really special. It was a great birthday. And I, um, we all kind of went to bed pretty early because we passed out. And I didn't sleep a whole lot yesterday because I worked into the morning. So I needed that time uh, in bed. And then I, I woke up at like eight, took care of the dog, had, uh, some coffee. And now I'm just now, oh, I updated my planner. Cause you know, that's going to be part of my routine. Um, so it, it doesn't start till December, but I had people reach out to me and say, Hey, I'm going to be in town such and such a date, you know, if you're free. So I put all that stuff in there for December and Bob's going to get a, a vacation in December so I added that so I'm just gonna try to keep up with you know making sure I add things as they happen um, so I don't get dates confused and yeah um, ordered some more stickers because now I'm totally planner obsessed <laughs> and uh, I'm just now starting to get back to the diamond painting part of it. And um, yeah, this is, you know, a little different. My format, just like a little birthday edition, I think. I um, think that this is just more background. I don't think that there's um, going to be any orcas in it. Who knows? Maybe there's like a tail or something over here. We've seen that happen before. So I'm just going to keep on working on this and I'll meet you guys back at the end, okay? I hope you enjoy the music. Falling apart, I'm hoping just 
to get by But without knowing it I still play it by heart and sing Look guys, I told you maybe there was something hidden and it's definitely the back end of an orca. So I'm gonna pull this up so you can see all the things and I'll be right back. There it is, don't mind the shadows. Um, but I was trying to give you like as much of an aerial view as I could. And this is the square we just did. So you see the tail there coming out. And yeah, this is so beautiful, isn't it? I'm excited because every little square had something. Um, certainly excited to see what's under these two. If there's more orcas. Yeah, it's so pretty. Uh, I'm adding this in. I'm editing the uh, mystery video and I realized I didn't show you guys the Oraloa. This, so this is the painting that was supposed to be a sneak peek but they realized it was actually AI art. I'm not doing a full unboxing. I'm just showing you the image. Um, it's called La Fille de la Ombre by Anne-Laurie Goupel. Um, I'm not sure if it comes in both rounds or squares. This one is a square. Uh, it does not tell me the number of colors or anything like that, but it does say that it's a 46.6 .6 by 70 centimeter diamond painting and that's the image there so it, it gives me um Wednesday Adam vibes I don't know if that's who it's supposed to be but she's got some stuff in her hair it looks like roses she's holding something in her hand um I'm not sure if that's a ring or a pet but it looks like a skull and then there's like castles in the background She's got that like eerie vibe. So yeah, this is on Aura Loa's 70% off Black Friday. If you just go onto their website and you click on um, right in the front, Black Friday, 70% off. There's a whole bunch of paintings that are 70% off currently. Um, I do have a coupon code that you can use on top of that. I believe it's Kimba 15, but it will be in the description below. And yes, you can use that no matter how many times you've ordered from Oraloa. Um, I believe you can use it on top of it because I did put something in my cart and I did put a coupon code and it worked. So go ahead and check out what they have on sale. Um, some really cute paintings in there. This is one of them, and like I said, any profit they make off of this image, uh, the proceeds go to charity. What charity, they did not um, elaborate. So, uh, sorry about the shadows. This is my new table and desk. It's nighttime, it's raining, you probably hear it. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on, but you guys have a great night. All right, I think this video is long enough. Um, that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Canvas Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.